Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as the video title suggests, I am finally, finally, finally recording my hair routine. And this is not just any hair routine. This is how I get my baby to curly hair. And it is, I won't say that I follow the curly girl method 100%. Uh, I wish I could. But I have picked up certain things from the curly girl method that have really, really done amazing things to my hair. And for the other things, I tips that I've just picked up from intensive YouTube research and uh, stalking various curly haired women on Instagram. Yeah, I know that sounds creepy. So, uh, this routine is strictly for people who have uh, naturally wavy or um, curly hair. My hair is somewhere in the middle of wavy and curly. I won't say it's 100% curly, but yeah. Um, my hair has has started becoming more curlier than it already was because I have been following the curly girl method. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know what I'm talking about. And I'm also going to insert three photos of uh, how my hair looked when I started the when I started this process and how my hair looks now so you're gonna actually see the change your hair goes through when you start uh, using better products when you start taking care of your hair and when you let your hair be its natural self um, I I wouldn't say I disliked my curly hair I actually really loved it but the problem was that I just didn't know how to manage it and I used to get really frustrated every time I tried because it would look terrible after one point of time like on the day I washed it it looked great but then the next few days it would look absolutely terrible and I hated it so I just started blow drying my hair and curling it with like a curling wand to make the curls the way I like them um, so I actually did that for four years when I was in college and when I came back to Mumbai I decided that I was going to just you know what let my hair be all natural because why not I have crazy curly hair and I think it really matches my personality now getting down to some really important details about the curly girl method number one I am I now only wash my hair twice a week I anyways used to wash my hair only twice a week which is a really good habit that I somehow managed to have and uh, sometimes it does become three times a week especially in the summertime because my hair does get really sweaty and I live in Mumbai and I also work out a lot so yeah now that was number one so wash your hair as freak as like as less frequently as you can twice a week should be absolute like perfect number Second is use products that don't have sulfates, parabens, um, surfactants and all of that. Now this was probably the most difficult part of this routine. And why you ask? Because India does not have curly hair products, number one. And when they do have curly hair products, all of them have a ton of chemicals in them. They have alcohol, they have surfactant, they have sulfate and sulfate is the worst. So when I decided to go curly girl, I actually first had to research the products that were available to me which I could use and they, and I'm gonna be really honest with you guys they are very less products so a lot of the products that I am currently using for my hair might not be 100% curly girl approved because they have sulfates some of them have sulfates in them but then again I can't really help it because the other products that I would love to buy like Diva Curl or I would love to try out Jane Carter solution they all are really expensive to get in India because on Amazon itself all of them are above nearly you know 2000 which really doesn't make sense for like a small hair product which you're gonna use for a few months so starting off with the shampoo that I have been using the one product line that I feel that is easily available in at least in Mumbai and available online and which is not too expensive is the OGX line and I know you guys have seen me talk about their shampoos, conditioner and even their hair products a lot because honestly this brand is seriously amazing. So this particular one is completely sulfate free, surfactant free and they also don't have any parabens in them. What happened? And they even have like the conditioner of this one which uh, I did use and which is also really amazing so this is the sea mineral moisture shampoo 
by OGX. And currently for conditioner, I have been using this one, which is the Garnier Ultra Blends Intense Repair Conditioner. So this is meant for really dry hair, which is perfect for curly hair. And if you are someone who has curly or wavy hair, Trust me, you want products that hydrate your hair. Now, this particular conditioner, um, to be honest, would not be Curly Girl approved because I don't think it has sulfates, but it does have surfactants and alcohol in it, which is not good for curly hair. But um, currently in the market, the OGX conditioners are not available and I don't know why. So I had to pick up this one, but this one has been suiting my hair pretty well. So now I'm going to actually cut into the portion where I actually recorded all of the steps that I do after I'm done washing my hair and the way I use my products and so on. So cut it here. Hey guys, so as you can see, I've just come out of the shower after washing my hair and it's all wet. I've actually had to re-wet my hair, which is my tip number one for you guys. So whenever you are styling really curly or wavy hair, always remember to style it when it is wet. This also, I would have actually preferred if it was more wet, it's already sort of become damp up here. But let's stop and let's start with the whole process. First, we have this hair product and now this is like my holy grail hair product. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually divide my hair into two and, and I'm going to further divide that into two. So that's going to be like four sections and I'm going to apply this product in four sections. I'm going to first start with this side. So taking two pumps in my hand and nicely spreading it and then I'm just going to divide that up into two and just apply the product. So as you can see, I'm really making sure that every strand has this product in it and that's what is going to help create really frizz-free frizz and hydrated curls. So I'll add that to the back section. These sections don't have to be uh, really exact. They can just be random sections. Also remember when you're adding the product to actually kind of clump the hair. And this is a tip that I think I saw on one of the Instagram accounts, like the million Instagram accounts that I follow for curly hair tips and routines and all of that. And this will help create like fuller curls. So I'm just going to clump all of that together and then I'm going to move on to the other side. Now that that is done, the next step is to actually scrunch your curls. Now I used to scrunch my curls with my hands and I thought, yeah, big deal, that's okay. But honestly, I have seen a huge difference when I use an old t-shirt. So this is actually a t-shirt I sleep in and I'm going to be using this to scrunch my hair and to also plop my hair. So for basically for scrunching, all you need to do is grab all of your hair and just pull it up and squeeze. So what this is going to do is it's going to, uh, you know, take away any excess product that may be there on some strands. And it's also going to help, you know, squeeze out excess water and really help shape that curl. So yeah, now that is, I'm gonna, I'm, now I'm going to leave this here and I'm actually going to now plop my hair. So for plopping, now there are like multiple ways to do this, but the way that has really worked for me is, and I'm going to warn you, I look ridiculous after doing this, but yeah. So you just want to put your head through your t-shirt like if you were wearing a t-shirt pull out like the rest of your hair okay so now that this is done now you want to tip your hair head forward put all your hair inside the t-shirt you want to like shake it like this so that all your hair is in the t-shirt and you want to cross it and tuck it behind and this i'm just gonna tuck that in so it doesn't like annoy me throughout the day so that is how i plop my hair and of course there are many many ways to plop your hair so i usually um, plop my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes after which i then let my hair air dry like after opening it i left let it air dry for another 15 20 minutes and then i diffuse it but I'm actually not going to do this whole process because then that's going to just increase the time of this tutorial. So I'm just going to let it be in this for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to diffuse my hair and 
we'll come back after that so as you guys can see my hair has been in this turban plopping twist for about um 15 20 minutes and now i'm gonna diffuse my hair so first i'm gonna take this out so taking it out is pretty much simple you just have to slowly take out all of your hair so that is my hair after plopping and now i'm gonna get my diffuser so this diffuser is actually really 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 old and i don't think i can link it for you guys in the description bar but i know for a fact that there are a lot of hair dryers and diffusers that are available on amazon and flipkart and stuff like that so do check those out now first i'm gonna uh, diffuse my hair with uh, medium heat for 10 minutes then I'm going to diffuse my hair with absolute like cold air for 10 minutes. That's usually how I always diffuse my hair. Usually when I'm doing this routine, I'll just leave my hair like about 90% dry. That 10% I prefer if it actually air dries because it is better for your hair. Um, during the day, while it is still drying, I always kind of flip my hair especially from the front like from side to side and this really helps in maintaining that volume towards the front and it doesn't get flat here so if you have that issue where your curls are really nice at the bottom but the top of your head is really flat try tipping your head from side all your hair from side to side during the day while it's drying so this will really help in creating that volume usually after my hair is completely dry that is when i use this particular hair um, spray slash oil so this is also from the kukui oil range and i absolutely love this product you guys have seen my review on it in my last favorites video and i absolutely swear 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 by this so if you're someone with wavy to curly hair and who has drier ends but like your scalp is oily definitely give this hair spray a, hair spray a try and this is really easy to use so usually I do this when my hair is more or less dry but there's no harm in even putting it in your hair while your hair is still damp so I just gather all my hair on one side and kind of just spray it and scrunch the product in my hair only do this in the sections that are really dry or that are uh, that get really frizzy so that's usually this lower section so yeah that is my curly hair routine for you guys I really hope you guys like this tutorial and that it helps you maintain your wavy curly hair. I have absolutely been loving my wavy curly hair after trying out the curly girl method or at least my version of the curly girl method. And if you are someone with, someone with naturally wavy or curly hair, then I seriously want to push you to stick to your natural hair type um i don't think there is anything prettier than you know like keeping to your natural self because that's how you are meant to look so why not just stick with it we'll maybe leave links to different websites that i referred to when i went curly and uh, yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i am going to make many more videos that are regarding how to maintain your wavy hair Hair, how to style your curly and wavy hair and so on and uh, in the next video you're gonna see how I revive my curls after the next morning which is one of the biggest problems I had because my curls look amazing after I wash them but the next day they used to absolutely fall flat and yeah so if you guys have that problem then you want to subscribe to my channel because I am going to make a video all about that so like I always say stay fabulous